So a couple years ago, I made a video about using the farm simulator side panel. Uh, from the time that mining came out to about 3.5, the game Star Citizen recognized it as a peripheral. But after 3.5 and beyond, nobody has been able to get this thing to work or recognized by the game. We've even talked to developers. Uh, the Austin Studios actually purchased one and had it shipped to them to figure it out. And we just haven't heard anything back from them since. But I've been using it using a uh, software, third-party software called Joystick Gremlin. It just emulates your keyboard uh, to a peripheral that you want to use. So um, this is what it looks like. Um, you're just going to have to download it online. I'll put the links in the description. Um, the first thing you want to download is this thing called VJoy. It's going to look like this. Once you download it, it's going to you're going to hear a lot of sounds like uh, peripherals being unplugged and plugged back in. It's just detecting all your peripherals if you have joysticks or uh, steering wheels or any other kind of peripheral that you have. Um, and then this is the this is the driver that connects the um, connects the peripherals to the software joystick gremlin. So once you downloaded VJoy, you're going to download joystick gremlin. And it's gonna look like this. Look at there, I already loaded up my old profile and I had already uninstalled this, but I guess the folder stayed. And I uh, loaded my Star Citizen panel profile. So I'm gonna start a new profile, actually, and make sure my axis here works. Okay, um, all right, so, it's wrong axis, there we go. Uh, so as you can see, it, the software has already detected my peripherals so I have I use dual joysticks to uh, fly around and then obviously here's my side tech sa side panel that I I'm gonna be using so I'm gonna create a new profile here and as you press these buttons you'll see as you press these buttons you'll see them gray out according to which you know buttons you're pressing right so this one right here is considered button 21 as it says there 16 17 uh, 22 I believe three four yep. okay so um, this joystick uh, if you own this joystick uh, this controller you probably already know this but this axis right here um, when you press this gray button here and it turns on this light it at it accesses another axis so you can have two different control schemes set up on this stick uh, d depending on whether the light is on or off by pressing this button and this red button here it's just a just a general button I actually use this for um, my laser throw, uh, my laser on and off for my mining laser, and uh, I'm going to set this up for my mining throttle because it works amazing. All right, so I'm going to use the light on method to use uh, to set up the um, the actual mining throttle here. So I'm going to remap, add its its default to a, a, um, a like a joystick axis axis, and I'm going to change this to y-axis you don't have to do anything else it's done there's no apply there's no okay it's mapped as you can see here it says one axis all right so we're gonna do flight ready which is an easy one so you hit the button look for it there it is grayed out I'm gonna switch this remap you're gonna change it to map to keyboard add now you can record your keys so flight ready is R on the keyboard there we go that's set up you can see it has a little keyboard symbol next to it so that means I've mapped this to the keyboard and the current key combination is R um, engines I this this power I'm, I've, I've got to change I've got to add some labels and I've got to change the labels. so I changed this to my engines which is I I believe on the keyboard so we're gonna remap to keyboard add I it's set that's done uh, mining mode is M so we're gonna add keyboard M. There we go. Um, uh, I believe this was my scanning mode. Ah, uh, you know what? I think this is scanning, but I I I don't use scanning really on this anymore. Um, okay, so switch laser. So switch uh, laser mode. So this I use this button because it's right next to my joystick. I can switch from extraction to fracture mode really quick. So I'm gonna remap this to. The mouse add and I'm gonna change this to right click it's done so whenever I press this it'll switch um yeah it'll switch I guess because uh 
Huh. I don't know why it's not picking up the, uh, but it's set. So let's just try it. So uh, to activate the profile, to activate this software for it to start working in game, uh, whenever you're done, you're gonna wanna click this little uh, remote controller here and it'll turn green to activate it. Now, as you can see, my button is now set to right click. Oops. Okay, get out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that off. Now you're gonna go through and just map all your buttons that you want. So um, exit C, I have one set for exit C, so I just like engine off exit C, like really quick there. Um, I don't use it that much, but you know, you can you can do whatever buttons you want. And also I'm gonna put the, the profile that I use in the description so you can download that if you just wanna really quickly set up a, a, a control scheme for your ship uh, for mining. So anyways, uh, exit C, I'm just gonna add keybind to Y. All right, um, oh, laser throttle, or not laser throttle, laser fire button. So we're gonna add, oh, we're gonna change this to map to mouse, add, and leave it on left. Now it's set up. So let's let me try something. So click on this, awesome. So as you can see, it sets up as a, um, a button there, cool. Um, what else do we need? That's pretty much it for what we're using um, the mining for. I Oh, there we go. Okay, so the axis is set up. My mining uh, laser type, so extraction fracture there. And then mining mode is M. Okay, so I've got everything pretty much set up. One thing that I do, do is um, these buttons here I use for consumables. So consumable one, consumable two, consumable three, which is freaking nice. So you're you know you're mining and you gotta reach up and hit this button, you know. Freaking awesome. Um I use this one for uh uh wiping my visor, because if you're in the uh, whenever you're in the rock, you know, you don't want to reach up and have to hit Alt X, you know. So I just reach up and hit that. Um so I'm gonna do that actually. A remap, remap keybind, add record keys, alt X. So it actually does combinations, uh, key combinations. So that's, so now this is, um, yeah, visor. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the game. I'm gonna get a rock out, and we're gonna test this profile that I just set up. Once you've set up the uh, uh, the joystick gremlin software, you want to make sure that the profile or the software is actually running. You don't have to have VJoy running. It's just the joystick gremlin. And you can actually start this software after the game has already been started. So it's not like track IR where you have to open the program before. And then just make sure you click uh, this uh, remote controller here. The only thing you have to bind, since since all these other buttons that you bound before are emulating your keyboard. So this is the R button, this is the M button, this is the I button. This is still left click, this is right click. Everything is still... Um, it's still bound as if it's your keyboard. So the only thing you're gonna be setting up is the throttle now. So I'm gonna to go to keybinds, hotas, mining, and then increase, decrease mining laser power. I'm just gonna push it forward. It is now set. You are ready to use this. Safety. Brought my uh, nomad here. Ignore my star runner that's just sitting there. This thing does not ride well. As you can see, the mining arm uh, does some funky things. Okay, so what I normally do on this, it has nothing to do with the actual tutorial of the farm simulator side panel, but I, I figure whenever I close the cargo bay and immediately jump in my seat, kind of drive my rock forward a little bit. It'll, it'll level out like that. I'll just straighten her out while I'm up here. Okay. Uh, I gotta turn off the money arm on and off. Okay, now she's sitting straight. Oh, 
don't know what he's doing with his hands. Uh... Oh shoot. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. Let's bring down the buggy. Buggy. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Get in it. Get in it. Get in it. Oh. Unload itself. Oh my gosh. So whenever I do mine, I do use my mouse. Here we go. Mining mode. Here we go. Not too bad. Alright, so as you can see, the laser throttle is at 0% basically. As soon as you touch that stick, it's on 50% in the middle, so. Raise it to about 72. 75. 80. Alright, we're in. I'm gonna keep it around 28%. What's really nice about this is you can drop down to zero very fast if you need to. There we go. I switched body extractor. Extractor. Nom nom nom. Very easy. Very nice. It's little movement and you have a lot of control with this um, throttle. It's pretty nice. Um, give it a try if you own one of these. You really enjoy it and it makes mining a freaking breeze and uh, like I said you can set these up for like consumables that's what I did because it's, clo it's the three closest buttons I guess you could use I guess I could start using these as my consumables that would work These used to be uh, what I use for scanning you know what that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use these for my consumables one two and three I think if I can reach them uh, I think these are easier to reach actually Anyways, uh, yeah, you guys uh, take a look at this uh, side panel, and uh, it's pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching, and good luck. If you have any questions, just post it in the uh, comment section, and I'll do what I can to help you out.